I'll have the chicken souvlaki, she said with laughter behind her lips as I ordered the same. We coexist in a bubble of joy and sanity floating silently in an austere and automatic world. The candlelight flickers, reminding me of the early days. A crisp and clear picture in my mind, but a haze in hers that clears with words poured from my soul into her beautifully open heart. A heart modeling precisely what a heart should be. As if it is an evolved form of an age-old concept, a wheel crafted from a dreary stone revolutionizing our weary minds, making us meander out of the trees to see the sun as if for the very first time. She dances on my mind with frightening precision, each move an unparalleled harmony that sings the melody of her life, a song like no other. She doesn't just complete my sentences, but she begins them. She fills the gaps of my astonished mind like the silent and smooth motion of a star fills the void of the universe, bringing light to the farthest reaches of space and time breaking and battering the thickest boundaries, protecting the darkness breathing around every corner. Words are unnecessary. In a way, they always have been. We'll both have the soup, actually. <laughs> my soul's eyes can see through the fog which resides in the valleys of my thoughts, on the dew-wetted fields of Weston at sunrise where Cyrus lies in the distance. A breeze blows in a simple peace and contentment where there was always an understanding. An understanding which we both acknowledge the existence, but dance around the rim of its unfathomable depth. We're unique, together, as we sway to the song without words in perfect time with our beating hearts. A simultaneity without description, a oneness with no depiction as we linger in this home, if only for a little while. You kick off your shoes, wearing only your smile. This is not just a friendship, nor a fantasy or a dream, as it often seems, but the most real connection two people have the privilege of sharing, worthy of comparing to the names we all know. That sense of love that burns in our DNA yet remains lost to those who do not seek it. She fits into my arms like liquid steel, pours into a mold, a hold solidified beyond the scope in which time means anything. But lying beneath any amount of presumptuous poetry lives an unmatched sincerity, which pulls on my heart with such a force that it brings me to my knees. A love that makes my arms shake as I lie wide awake, staring at the ceiling as if by some magic force the answer will be written there tonight. She's the root note of the major chord in the key of my earthly joy. Resolving the suspended feelings pulled taut in my heart with a simple chuckle, a simple hum, a simple touch. If together every word I ever sealed to a page with my foolish pen resulted in that woman's smile, I would write until my wrist broke. Then I would learn to write with my left hand. We should go. Hmm. We both nod. You have never met a woman with a drive like hers, a mind like hers. She places her hand on my chest and feels her heart. As if she's satisfied by what she feels, she turns on her heels and we walk into the daylight, holding each other close, keeping those near us warm with the love we radiate. We always walk together, even when we're apart. This time it's west to face the descending sun, extinguished by the ocean in which it splashes into each night. It feels right, for that's the point of the road. To walk towards the light with those you love. And every day I celebrate my fate and relish in the never-ending wonder of her embrace. My teacher, my love, my friend, my heart, my soul. And oh, my soul. Though my words are like a candle held to the sun, a faint light so greatly dwarfed by the insurmountable understanding we hold for one another, this one is for you. I'll always write for you.